the holidays and some of us want touch we need touch it's a stressful time the time where a lot of us are running around and not grounded like we're just doing all the things and I spent the last week also on vacation and now trying to come back and realizing that I didn't get the kind of connection I was looking for and um, in all the ways that I wanted and that's again we're running around taking care of everybody so you want touch and you don't even know where to begin and I guess I've never really answered this question how do you get touch so let's go over some things about like why it's really difficult it's super vulnerable right because you're putting yourself out there you're actually asking and we're talking about asking not just telling somebody like hey give me a hug like, that's not what I'm talking about it's actually asking for the thing eh, it's vulnerable it can be really difficult what if we're rejected what if that person isn't honest if they say yes but they really don't want to can you trust them are they safe do they know your heart right when you say can you just give me a hug can you trust that they, they really they know you that it's not weird or it's you don't have another intention in mind um, you're not trying to take advantage of anybody I find that I hear that often where people don't want to ask for something because they're afraid that they may be perceived as needy or weak or taking advantage of somebody else again a lot of this is based on safety and trust and there's a lot of difficulty with asking for anything for touch for stuff to borrow something um, for help you know when you're sick like we just really struggle putting ourselves in that position so putting that all aside like it's hard to ask let's go over like four basic ways to ask and again as I say them out loud we'll just use it in the form of hugs because it's a very basic um, type of touch that we can see in our society. I want you to feel each one and see what it feels like to you. So um, maybe I'll take a pause, feel into each request, and again, maybe say it to yourself as if you're talking to somebody else. The first one, um, may I give you a hug? The next one, may I receive a hug from you? How did that feel? Um, giving a hug feels really good. Like, may I give it to you? Puts me in a position of power. May I get, get a hug from you? Does feel more vulnerable to me. Does make me um, be like, what if they say no? Like it can be kind of scary, um, but again, yeah, it's the, who is the active participant, right? That's we're feeling into that. Now the other option is would you? So that's like may I? That puts me in the like in that first person um, kind of thing. Now let's flip it and say, would you give me a hug? Does it hurt? It hurts a little bit. Um, what if, again, what if they don't want to? Or would you receive a hug from me? Hmm. I, I, in all of these, I feel very vulnerable, feel a little insecure, feel unsure. Um, and then if, if I make the request and I just wait, like, you know, my arms are not out, like, hey, can I get a hug? <laughs> it's not like that. It's like asking and then being still and, and waiting for a response. Um, it feels kind of serious. And again, it just, it's very vulnerable for us to ask. Um, and this is just the beginning. Imagine even just saying, hey, can I hold your hand? Or would you hold my hand? Um, there's a lot of million ways to do this. But let's just, I guess right now, I just want to make this video of proposing this idea. In a session with me, um, sometimes people have a hard time asking. Sometimes they'll just say, uh, put yourself right here. <laughs> like they'll literally just tell me what they want me to, what they want me to do. Um, or can you come right here? Or like they won't even be able to say the words. And I say, you know, sometimes I'll think to say, say a body part or, um, where exactly is that? Is that next to you? Is that on top of you? Is that behind you? Those are really difficult things for a lot of people to articulate. Their body and positioning and body parts, um, there's a lot of shame and a lot of uncomfortability and it feels, again, very vulnerable. So I guess, again, simple video, just me asking, like, 
start asking. Yes, I don't know. We'll probably talk more about vulnerability and how to overcome some of that. I feel vulnerable. Anyway, thanks for listening.